Hey everybody, uh, I got a, a quick demonstration using our concave mirror. Now remember a concave mirror is a converging mirror. Light that would be coming parallel to the axis would converge to a point called the focal point. Um, and the concave mirror is curvy on the inside, it's shiny on the inside. Um, for this example, we're going to look at an object relatively far away outside of a window. Uh, we're going to look across the street at a tree and uh, at, a, at my neighbor's house. And we're going to project an image. Okay, so here we go. So we can see my, my neighbor's house across the street, and there's a tree out front too that you guys should be able to see. And I'm going to project an image of that onto the wall. Okay, so there is an image of the tree and my neighbor's house and the street. Okay, um, some things to notice about the image. First of all, is it real or virtual? Well, it's real. You're not, you're not having to look in the mirror to see it. It's projected onto a screen. So that's a real image. Light is actually meeting there. Um, is it upright or inverted? Well, it's clearly upside down. It's inverted. Um, and it is a lot smaller than the actual tree and actual house. So the image is real, inverted, and smaller. And finally, the relative distances. The object, the actual house and tree, are fairly far away, 40, 50, 60 feet away. Whereas the image that I'm making of the house and the tree, they're relatively close to the mirror. They're only about five feet away from the mirror. Um, so uh, that's an example of a real image um, produced by a concave converging mirror. So um, again, a couple things to note. Real image, you don't have to look in the mirror to see. You could see a real image on the screen. It's light actually meeting there. Um, all real images are inverted. Um, this particular real image was uh, smaller and relatively close to the mirror. Thank you very much.